because I'm under this impression that once I sign with an agency, I make it. Mm. Like, that's the key. Mm -hmm. When it's not the key. Welcome to Set Life, where we tell stories from our industry. I'm Kelly Leger, and this is Amber Buto. Hey, everybody, welcome to Set Life. We're coming to you from For the One Studios. This is Soundstage One, and we are here with our friend, Larry White. Yes, so sir. glad to have you on Thank our you. show today. Get to know you, man. I feel like really honored and nervous at the same time. All right. All right. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Yeah, don't yeah, be yeah. I mean, normally I'm the one asking all the questions. No, so no. I was yeah. telling my wife, I was like, I wonder what they're going to ask me. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. The hot so, seat's good. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. And I mean, the whole essence of this show was started from, you know, you're an actor, you're on sets all the time. We yeah. all sit around and just talk, right? Mm. Tell stories and do life and all that together. It was yep. like, man, we do this all the time. We should, we should have our friends on and then we should share this with our community and our audience because yeah. unless you get to be on those sets you don't it's, get those conversations it's a mystique right because mm -hmm. nobody really knows yeah. what it's mm -hmm. like to be on a set yeah. yeah you know or how what a privilege it is yes right to That's get true. to that space That's because true. it's not an easy space to get to right mm -hmm. and there's levels to all right. of it right, right? Yeah. but right. to be on a professional set yes is an honor that's true yeah. you know maybe what we should we should have like a a craft services table in front of us Howdy, dude. I you know, i'm just things. saying <laughs> We could be sitting around like we, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have a cool dynamic. That, that might be a good I, dynamic. I, I, I right out that no. door, we have it. Mm -hmm. we, okay, that's we true. We sit out there and we do it, and then we're like, wait, save it for the show. Save it for the show. Cheetos, wait, Cheetos, wait, wait, wait. please. Yeah, that's what, that's what we do. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so, okay, Larry, so tell us your story, man. Like, tell us, first of all, tell us what you do. What are you doing now? Like, who, what, who is Larry White? Well, right now, thanks to the strike, I ended up starting a podcast. Okay. All Truth, No Chaser. And I got the privilege of doing, doing that here at 4 to 1 Studio. Okay. Um, and actually, I was at a studio, and I won't name them, um, how, like, a blessing this place is. I did a whole season, and somehow or another, they lost all of my footage. Now, how does that happen? I don't know. They could have been honest about it, right? Oh, Instead yeah. of, like, stringing me along. Oh, no. And oh, I'm no. Googling like podcast studios, Houston. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to build something in my garage. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to do that either because it's permanent. Yes. You know? Yes. And what if I what if I don't want to keep this up? And yeah, 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 and all this stuff. And I found this place on TikTok. Wow. Ah. Yeah. I what? put in TikTok, Houston podcast, scrolling, scrolling. And I'm like, what is that? Wow. Like, four to, and four to one. Oh, okay. I, it never dawned on me that four to one, like, man, Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to go find this place. <laughs> and it's like an hour from my house, Whoa. you know, and I drove out and um, it has been a wonderful relationship. Love oh, it. Yeah. Thanks. Plug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we like well, it. Well, we'll slide you something later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. But um, yeah, so I have a podcast and um, I coach men on how to be accountable and what accountability looks like. Love it. So the whole podcast is geared around. Yep. issues dealing with men being better friends better husbands just better love and it. all of that weight yeah we need yeah. it we need it like that's yeah. the crux of everything you know is getting yeah. that that family thing down mm -hmm. you know it's a hard it's a hard space yeah you know wow. we don't job. have a lot of coaches on that no we don't yeah. well, well well how did you get tell me the journey man how did you where tell me your story okay uh um, I served in the world's finest United States Navy All for right. 10 years, six months, 27 right. days. Um, I really enjoyed my time in service, but it got to a point where I was a single dad, two kids. So deployments were no longer an option for me. Mm -hmm. And, um, I found out later, you know how people like say, oh yeah, you used to talk about that all the time. And I call BS cause I don't have that memory mm -hmm. of being an actor. Mm -hmm. Now my first job was at Hollywood video. <laughs> Love the job because I got to watch movies yes, all day. Yes. My mom loves movies. She, uh, we have like the original uh, uh, Ten Commandments on Beta wow. and Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh, with, okay, let's with, go. Uh, uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams on Beta. What? You know, and so <laughs> watch a lot of movies. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's 2009. Um, I'm in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting out. I've already 
explain this to my leadership. And uh, I was really great at my job. I got lucky getting this uh, deployment to Cuba because they were like, hey, well, you know what? You can just go there for six months. And then when you get done, you'll go to San Diego and you'll process out of San Diego and Bob's your uncle, right? And so I'm like, mm -hmm. cool. I'm like, well, I gotta find a job. So I'm on like USA Gov jobs. I have this top secret SCI clearance, you know, couldn't get a job. Like, couldn't get interviews lined up. Everybody else that I know, they're getting back and forth. The only jobs I was being offered were back military jobs. Wow. Mm -hmm. I gotta be with my kids. I can't mm -hmm. yeah. do these deployments. I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do none of that, right? Because if I'm gonna do that, I might as well just right. continue stay, right. Right. stay in yeah. uniform. And uh, God says to me, this is how you're talking, how we're talking, pursue acting. And I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Whoa. I'm going to be in California. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> 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 right, right. God does a great job of telling you to do something. And boy, you have no idea yeah. what you're <laughs> signing up for. But the yeah. fact that you have the audacity to believe mm. something, yeah. um, Fast forward, I get to California, and I get introduced to the lies of Hollywood. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. if you pay for, if you're paying for an agent, that's mm -hmm. not real. Mm -hmm. um, if you got it at a kiosk, right, that's mm -hmm. not real. Mm -hmm. um, I Googled acting, mm -hmm. San Diego, yes. right? I'm in mm -hmm. California. Yeah. Yes. John Casablanca comes up. I can say that name because we know it's true. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I go to I go to John Casablanca, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be awesome! I'm so excited. I didn't even know it's called a side. He gives me a piece of paper. It's a Jello pudding pop com commercial, <laughs> which we would call sides, yeah. right? I didn't know that was the yeah, terminology yeah. for it. Right. Yeah. And he goes, read this. Let me see what you can do. So I read it. He's like, oh, you knocked my boots off. You're amazing. Uh -huh. You you could be the next Denzel Washington. I see so much in you. Yeah. Sign this contract. Uh -oh. Gonna pay two hundred dollars a month, and what you're gonna get is this training. We're gonna give you modeling. We're gonna teach you acting. You're gonna learn how to walk runways. You see all the pictures on the wall. Look at all the famous people that yeah. have been mm -hmm. through our doors. I'm like, what? Just like that? Just like that? And I'm like, well, okay, hold on, hold on. Before I, this is what saved me. Before I signed a paper, I said, well, you know, I'm a single dad. I'm not exactly sure if I can afford this two hundred dollars a month. Child care is like a thousand dollars already. Yeah. You know, you don't make no money in the military. And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. We can give you a payment plan. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we could do this payment plan. Like, in my brain, because this guy is gassing me up, he yeah. is telling me I am the truth. Wow. Yeah. And I'm believing it. So, what do I know? Right? Yeah. All I did was read a Jello Pudding Pop commercial. <laughs> <laughs> And this guy, that, this, this guy has opened up the doors. <laughs> yeah. And I kid you not, what saved me was, I said, well, let me look at my finances to make sure I can do this payment plan because things are tight. And he's like, no problem. So I did sign a document, but I also wrote on this document, I need to check my money first. And... When I told him I couldn't do it, he's like, well, you, we gave you a loan. I said, you didn't give me no money. He goes, well, we had to pay for your books. We had to pay for this stuff. I said, you pay for that stuff. I didn't pay for this stuff. You didn't give me money to pay for anything. I said, I'll just call Better Business Bureau. <laughs> and I filed a complaint. And then they was just like, okay, you could just, just forget it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so that's, Good for you. that's how I got started wow. in, in acting, man. And then I started with this modeling company, which was trash. Because the thing is, right, when that's what the allure of Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you, you, don't, you don't know what's behind that curtain. You don't know what an agent is. Yep. You have this idea. Once I signed with this agency, I made it. Yeah. Because I did Actors Across America. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think that's what it's called, Hollywood Across mm -hmm. America. And um, not, not, knowing, not knowing how this business works. I do my audition with a Beetlejuice audition. Beetle, Beetlejuice, bro. <laughs> I like the movie. <laughs> Do you remember what the audition was like? Um, it's like a your typical cattle call type of audition. You go in and you have like some people at a table and mm -hmm. it's 
people outside. You're walking past. Do you remember your sides for that audition? Beetlejuice. Bro, it was. I want hear Larry White. Do my, it, it wasn't good. No, 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 no. It fell the man. first time. All I did, it because all I did was remember. Now, this is in 2010. Okay. So, no, I don't remember. Okay. I do remember it being Beetlejuice, and I do remember just saying my lines. And these folks just looking at me like, next, mm -hmm. just go downstairs. We'll get back to you. And I, so I go down there, and I sit around, and then they do this thing where they make you hold up your headshot. Mm -hmm. My headshot was tragic. I don't know. I didn't know. Him. Nobody's telling me nothing. Right. Right. But they have you think it's real because you see all these studios, Showtime, HBO. This person is like, I represent Tom Cruise. And and you're just walking in front of these people. And if they like your headshot, they tell you to go on stage. Well, I mean, what I'm going to go on stage to do? I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. And then I by the end of that, they're like, hey, who are you? And I tell them, oh, you know. I'm in the military. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we would love to have you. Like, it was all, at the end of it, it was all for money. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking that I was heartbroken because I cried from Orange County to El Paso, Texas. Because <laughs> my family is here in Texas. You know, I grew up in New York, but my family's here in Houston. And I was just like, what am I going to do with my life? Yeah. Because I'm under this impression that once I sign with an agency, I make it. Mm. Like, that's the key. Mm -hmm. When it's not the key, yeah. you know, and and yeah, man, like that got me to Texas. I can keep on going, but I don't think that's even what y'all. Even like, with the good agent, it's not the key. I mean, you know, that's nah, the agent don't do nothing. You can have the best agent on the planet. Mm -hmm. That 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 doesn't mean you're gonna be in the next Marvel movie mm -mm. or yeah. you're gonna be an Academy Award winner. They got all kind of people who sign with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unknowns. Mm -hmm. You your boutique is just as your, po your boutique is just as powerful as your AMEs or whoever, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know. So, wow. And yeah, that, that got you back to Texas. Yeah, man. Um, God was like, good job. Now you can go get a pay paycheck, go to college. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I was like, oh, I can't do that. Oh. Using my GI Bill. Wow. And I enrolled at U of H, and I thought I would take some theater classes. So I know nobody here. Mm -hmm. And this professor told me, when I told him I had kids and I want to do the acting, he 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 didn't tell me about, like, tuts or any mm -hmm, of that. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, well, the only choice you got is the ensemble. Like, only? <laughs> like, there's no theater here in Houston? Like, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I found out that an ensemble theater is like a black theater. But he didn't tell me about, like, the Alley Theater. Yeah. None of the other theaters. And then he was like, our program is too rigorous for people with kids. I'm like, okay. Dream killer. Yo, I mean, but like, the it is it? I don't I don't know if I subscribe to dream killers. Mm. Yeah. Because if it's you know, you know what, when I told people I was getting out of the military to do acting, they were like, what are you stupid? You got kids. How are you gonna take care of your kids? Mm -hmm. Dream killers sometimes could be just telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, I don't subscribe. I don't tell people to pursue their dreams just because of my story. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you should. Because if you're doing this for money, you're not going to make it because there ain't no money here. Mm. If you're doing it because you want to be famous, well, that's not going to work either because <laughs> it's like 10 people that are famous. Yeah. <laughs> right? So that's right. not going to work. Yeah. Right? That's not going to yeah. work. And, yeah. then, and then you only want to do what you see. Mm-hmm. But you don't know what they did to get there. Mm -hmm. Some people were plucked. Some people clawed. Mm -hmm. You don't know. True. I can show you like my spreadsheet on Excel of every audition that I get a year, and then you can tally up all the not yets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what'd you do with that? He says that only place for you is this place. What'd you do? I mean, it's hard. To, I, I dropped the class, but I didn't drop the class because. They only referred me to the ensemble because what do I know? Mm -hmm. Right? I don't really know. I didn't know Alley Theater, you know, yeah. I, the theater district. I don't, I don't know. I just dropped the class. But I think I dropped the class because that teacher was dismissive. Mm -hmm. And because at that time, I don't, I looked 18. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I don't, I don't done been. Deployments here, Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraqi Freedom. Like, I'm not 18. Right, You're going to watch right, how you talk to me. Right, right, yeah. 
right. You yeah. know, so that kind of energy, mm-hmm. the energy that that teacher presented, if you dismissive to me and you don't even know who I am or my accolades, then you talking real stupid to these kids. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, this, mm-hmm. you just not the person. Right. For me, so I mean, I was going to get a psych degree. I got mm-hmm. a psych degree. Mm-hmm. I was almost done with it anyway. Mm-hmm. And it seemed as though me going down a the theater pass, I would have to start over, mm-hmm. credit wise. Uh-huh. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So I just, I was just like, nah, I can just. It was an elective anyway. Right, right. right. You know, you can choose something else. So yeah. yeah, so I minored in psychology. I majored in psychology. I got a minor in religious studies. Wow, mm. wow. Yeah, man. Okay, so so how did we go from there to? you know, Nashville and all these shows and how did, how did, what was the space between those two? What did that, what I can't, that like? You know, most people, they, they, fortunately, let me, let me, let me preface, like my story, I've been just blessed and fortunate. Okay. Because our, the trigger words we like today is privileged. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like I have mm-hmm. hella privilege. <laughs> yeah. Don't know how I got it. <laughs> It's just what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I knew what a, I met a girl at an audition, which was terrible. She knew Pat. Um, she used to own an agency here in the city, uh, A Plus. Mm. Right? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You know A Plus? I heard of that. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not here no more, but yeah, it's not important. Long time. But, yeah. it, but Pat, is, Pat owned that place, right? Okay. She was like, oh, you know what? Because so she, she's. We were looking at each other. You know, I can look at somebody and you're like, oh, I know you. Mm-hmm. I know you for some reason. You know, we're talking. And listen, I was just like, look, I, I'm sorry if I don't. Re- I'm not a promiscuous dude. Okay. But she, the, 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 I'm trying to pinpoint you was like, we did not have sex together. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. And she's like, well, if we did, you would remember. <laughs> but I, but I mean, I didn't know what to do with the energy. Cause she was just trying to place me and I'm like, I'm not from here, you yeah, know, like yeah. that, you know? And so we ended up becoming friends. Uh, and she introduced me to Pat and there was another agent there. We kind of befriended each other. When she left there, when Pat shut down that agency, she went to PB mm-hmm. and I was honored enough, privileged enough that she took me with her. Mm. So that's how I end up there. Okay. And then I was in education. So, you um, know, our friend Cindy. Who don't? Yeah. <laughs> I, so, I would Cindy, like to believe she loves me. Uh, I would like to believe. We grew up together. Like, yeah, Shut we up. School. Like, yeah. she's my I'm going to call her and I leave here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Yeah. She was um, on not too long ago. She was on not long Yeah. <clears throat> and so, I mean, that's how I ended up at PB. And um, hats off to them because I was so terrible. Like, my auditions were so bad. Like, when I look at those tapes and I can show them, I have them in my Dropbox. It was just you so. You made me laugh, man. It was just so he bad, laugh. you know. And and God bless him because yeah. it's like you sign somebody that's this bad. Like you must see something there. How do you help this guy? You know. And it's not like they didn't give me like any um, go here, you know, uh, any of that. Yeah. It was just like I would get an audition, and that that too has been a regular part. Mm-hmm. Of my story, mm-hmm. even when I used to get my auditions off for of Craigslist, I used to I get remember them. that. Yeah. And um, I say auditions are like getting a lottery ticket. So if you compute the amount of pop people we have on the planet, and then the amount of people that play the lottery, that's probably the amount of people that get an audition. Mm. Very fortunate that that's just. Sure. I don't know what it's like not to be auditioning. Cause I have friends in LA and New York, they audition like once or twice a year. I'm like, yo, I'll break out knives. Mm. I'm itching. I'm itching if, <laughs> if 20 days have gone by, I'm like, somebody's not doing their job. Like this is yeah. what I'm thinking in my head, yeah. you know? And so, um, yeah, man, I get, I used to love Nashville. That was my first job. That's when I felt like, and before that guy had told me to quit teaching. And I'm like, I'll call my wife and I'm like, yo, this is what I feel like God telling me to do. And she's like, uh, <laughs> you know, my wife is very structured. She's like, well, I ain't finna tell you what not to do, but if that's what you believe, <laughs> so much energy in that, right? <laughs> if that's but what you believe. believe. <laughs> uh, she's like, oh, you know. And so I'm like, okay. And initially it was great because right after I retired, uh, resigned, yeah, yeah. 
come August, that following school year, when people are going back to work, I have no more checks coming from school. I booked Nashville. Wow. And I was like, whoa, I love this show. I know everybody. Like, uh, 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 Kat, who was there, uh-huh. uh, she calls. And I couldn't, I was more excited about all the people and their stories because I'm such a fan of them. I'm like, I'm going to be able to meet them. I'm geeking out, you know. Yeah. And yeah, man, I got to be on the show. They even used my footage for like the commercial and upcoming whatnots. It was cool. really cool on Facebook. Cool. And I'm like, see, babe, we're going to make it. <laughs> you know, you don't get paid no money, but it's part of that journey. <laughs> It's part of that journey. People think there's so much money here. Yeah. Not not for guests and co-stars. <laughs> yeah. You're just here to say your line and go home. <laughs> but how hard it is to do that. Like hundreds of people want to say that under five. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, yeah. and you have to say that under five. It doesn't matter how you say it. Do you fit whatever they're looking for? Right. Yeah. You know, you can say it bad, but you fit the image. Yeah. You know? Yes. And yeah. so, you know, you work really hard to say that under five. I mean, my, it wasn't an under five. It was a legit scene, right. which is exciting, too. Right. Nervous. <laughs> you know, because you don't know. When you get on set, you Do don't you remember your lines right now. Uh, 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 take it to Washington. Somebody will help you. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not Denzel Washington, bro. <laughs> Denzel Washington is the only person I've known uh. where I've seen videos of where uh, people that say, well, did you remember the line from your first? And you can, like, spew it out. Uh-oh. No, my brain like dumps. Dumps. <laughs> I'm yep. done. Like, I'm done with that. <laughs> don't, it. don't, don't hold on to it. nothing. Wow. You know? wow. So, yeah, booked that Nashville. And then after Nashville, um, I think I was averaging 30 to 50 auditions, TV and film mm-hmm. auditions mm-hmm. were coming in. But I booked none of them for three and a half years. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 30 to and 50 auditions. TV and film. A year. When I'm not, I don't count commercials. Mm-hmm. So just TV and film, uh-huh. none of them. Now, mind you, this is before the strike. So I had this epiphany. I was like, you know what I need to do? I need to be in a room. So that means going to New York, going to Albuquerque, well, wherever the audition is, to, mm-hmm. to meet the cast Dude. of people. And I tell this to my wife, privileged, bro. Dude. She's like, uh-huh. <laughs> I mentioned mm. Kat. I say, Kat, going forward, any audition I get, I want to be in a room. She's like, we ain't paying for that. I'm like, I know that. <laughs> this is what I want to do. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and none of it. COVID, I think COVID saved my marriage. Really? Not, I mean, I don't think it would, it would, the strain that going on on auditions and not booking because you know you ain't making no money uh-huh. mm-hmm. i keep saying that because i want your followers to know like oh there's no money over here <laughs> you better you better love <laughs> you this have, you have to love it yeah i mean yep. you get a thousand dollars for your time yeah that's it you ain't, you that's ain't it. eating on that <laughs> no no you, you got to pay this much car note yeah that's it you know so i mean that's why the strike was so important but that's not what we're talking about but with with uh the debt that I racked up, plane tickets, rental cars. You know, when I go to New York, I'm, I grew up in New York, so that's fine. It's just a train. It's a, mm-hmm. it's a yeah. metro pass. Mm-hmm. L.A., no, I need a car. Mm-hmm. Albuquerque, I need a car. Mm-hmm. You know, and you can't you can't get around Los Angeles without a car. It's true. Mm-hmm. Especially when you have an audition at set time, multiple auditions. I think I was there. I had an audition on Sunset. I left the audition on Sunset, had to drive to West Covina. <laughs> Leave West Covina. You know California. You know California too. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then just to drive all the way back for another audition in the traffic on sunset. I'm like, and 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 they come <clears throat> in the car. Yeah. So I've already done made it back home. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, and it's now. Yep. Yeah. It's not like tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, and I mean, most people don't. They hear that, but that's not. I, for me, I would say that's not a normal. Mm-hmm. Luckily, it was happenstance and it just worked out in my favor. Yeah. But that costs money. Sure. You know, and then I pay, um, uh, like my acting coach, John Lynch. I love that brother. But I every TV John and film. John Lynch. That's my oh, man. We love he, he John. Was on the, he was on the other John day, too. Cool. The show. John, 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 yeah, John is the reason John. 
my success is because of him. Man, isn't he oh, good? Wow. I love that guy. So I would not so be great. who I am in this business if it wasn't for him. Wow. Or the auditions, mm. the sandbox that I play in today is because wow. of him. Wow. Wow. And there's so people like Ivana Chubbuck is dope. You know, all these acting coaches are dope. I would go to them, Second City, beautiful place, right? I mm -hmm. enjoy my time there. But am I there to learn? Am I there because this casting person wants to see a name? Right. So a lot of time you do it for that. Right. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't really, if, if the coach is dope, the coach is dope. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lakers, when they won, or the Rockets, or whoever team, when they're winning these championships, the head coach gets all the, the glory. Mm. But they got like a whole staff. Right. Yeah. Just because you don't know their name don't mean they're not great. Right. And John is great. He is yeah. great. The problem is, he's just a little too humble for me. <laughs> he is humble. <laughs> yeah. I've had the best conversations with that guy. Like, yeah. he's deep. Like, yeah. he's deep. Like, yeah, he gets he it, man. Like, he just, mm. he cares. He gets it. Mm -hmm. He's like, he'll, I mean, I just like that. I like that guy so much. John is the time. first acting coach that did not make me play to being black. Mm. Amen. Mm. A lot of times, cool. some acting coaches, and there's one here in the city of Houston, she see my color first. Mm. Okay, then, explain, explain, just explain that to me, because I haven't been in that situation. I don't know that perspective. Explain that to me. What was that like? What did that, what did that mean? Like, like everything is <laughs> fine when I'm the only. I can be anybody mm -hmm. when I'm the only. I love Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. So I can do Shakespeare when I'm the only. Somebody else comes in. Now I have to be Tupac, mm. the negative version of Tupac. Now I have to be the robber person because now that somebody else here, so we got to play that. What happened to the sides we were working on when I was the only? So now right. we got somebody else. Right. We got to change the yeah. narrative. Why does my... You know, the the work that we do as actors is not predicated on what I look like. Right. Yeah. You know, it's predicated on do I do I believe? You know, there's this you know, I've had some experiences, man. There's this one lady. <laughs> I opened it up now, man. You did Jesus open it Christ. up right here there's at the this, very end. There's this one lady. She likes to like tell you to lie. I'm gonna teach you how to lie. Oh. That's her technique. Oh yeah. And she bases that off of that audition from the E.T. kid. How believable his audition was, the E.T. from the, the kid that played in E.T. Yeah. And, and I'm like, nah, I don't, what I got to lie for? Yeah. If as long as I'm not judging my character, why can't I just go there? I, there is something that I can attach to mm -hmm. yeah. to deliver this. Mm -hmm. If I got to lie to you to get you to believe me, right. I feel, now granted, this is, I'm speaking my translation yes. of my time in her intensive. That's what I, that's, that's what was translating to me. Mm -hmm. And I just don't, I just don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I have to be here. Yeah. And I want you to be with me. Mm -hmm. And so if I got to change my eyes to get you to believe something, no, like, if I want you to believe I'm in love with you, I'm gonna make you believe I'm in love with you. Mm -hmm. I ain't gotta lie about it. Uh oh, get my. I'm not, yeah. I, don't, I don't gotta lie about it. Yeah. Yeah. I can go there. Yeah. Yeah. Authentic, from an authentic place. Yeah. I yeah. can make you somebody in my head whom I'm talking to. If I got grievance with you, yeah. I can solve the grievances with my father with you using that energy. I don't gotta lie. Mm. Mm. So yeah. some of these antics. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me tell you if you, I can tell you how to get every casting director to cast you. How? I don't like five people. <laughs> you know how many casting people there are in America yeah. or out of America? They all look for something different. 100%. Mm -hmm. How about you just show up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just show up. And be authentic to yourself, you know? And I think that's um, not putting on that performance spirit, but also catering to your authentic self, but then stretching yourself to be outside of that character. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think is a valid place to stand in acting. And I think because in my opinion, actors are very in tune with their emotional 
awareness. Have to be. I mean, mm-hmm. you got to be able to cry on a dime. You've got to be able to be angry on a dime and make it real, mm-hmm. like believable, not yeah. like somebody that's not an actor does it and you just laugh. You're like, mm-hmm. what was that? What was that? <laughs> like, right, what John, was that? John does a so, great job at helping you learn how to be a human. Yeah. Let's be a human today. Yeah, that it's yeah. believable in, in what you do, you know. And so, you know, we, we could dive deep into all of these things, and that's probably episode <laughs> number two, three, four, five. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, I want to give the audience an opportunity to be able to connect with you, reach out to you, because I also know you have a heart to – to mentor and communicate and foster community and all of that as well Um, from your show, your podcast that you do to give back for men and all of that. I mean, you just have a a great kind heart for the industry and others. So how does our audience get reach you or follow you or look at your podcast and all that? How do they? The podcast, all truth, no chaser. Um, That's the whole name on TikTok. You got to put an underscore between the all truth on Instagram. Um, but I'm Larry S. White the second, and you put that in Google and it'll whole life come up in there. That's kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of scary, but it's 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 in there. It's like oh my gosh. Yeah. It's like I hope not do nothing bad. Yeah. But to find out, no. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But I mean, thanks for being vulnerable and telling your story and uh, letting others in on the, you know, pull the curtain back a little bit. Totally. To, on my experience. Yeah, yeah. on your, on, yeah. On your Everybody's this, got one. This everybody, is my experience. Everybody's that's got right. it. That's right. And that's what this show's about, is telling people's stories and their experiences. Everybody yeah. can draw from other people's experiences. Yeah. You know, and that was a passion for us. And starting this was to foster community and tell stories and experiences to maybe help somebody know, uh, like, that's wanting to start in acting. And you just told them a couple of things that you did in the beginning that you were like, I didn't know. So now they do know. Yeah. And, and they're able to, you're able to pour that knowledge out into the world so that you save people from making some of the same, you know, pitfalls that you had made in the beginning from lack of knowledge, just lack of knowing, yeah. Yeah. you know, so thanks for being willing to share those moments with us and sit with us. And Man, it's been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We fun, appreciate it. We fun, appreciate fun. it so much. For sure. So, all right well until the next time man um everybody out there uh this has been set life and we'll see you next time